hello guys and welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the jits from the palace of uni of ife please if you have not subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe give this video a thumbs up and share my video i really appreciate your support for always being part of this channel thank you so much my god will bless you guys information reaching us right now allegedly is that the the elders they were all surprised and shocked as queen naomi storms the palace with her prayer warriors and they said they were kabashing they were praying they were going around the palace doing their prayers as in and in as much as she is undergoing some cleansing process she is also doing her own cleansing because the palace needs to be cleansed <laughs> hey considering all that we have been hearing allegedly from that palace you see the palace the palace needs total cleansing yes although we have heard that before she will return back to the palace that the the uh, king is planning on inviting some if a priest from other areas like uh, those ones from brazil and other people to come and do thorough cleansing in the palace before she will return but she believes so much in what she believes in and she believes that the highest cleansing she can do in her husband's compound is to invite her prayer warriors the, she and her prayer teams to go around the palace and pray because a lot have been buried a lot have been sent a lot have been done inside the palace from the information we are hearing including the be reports that is causing problem to some people right now you know in as much as they have been digged out of the palace the palace also needs cleansing you see let me tell you by the time Naomi returns back to that palace and everything becomes normal again you'll find out that there will be more progress yes there will be more progress in that palace than what it used to be reason is because they said when the righteous is on the throne the people of God will progress and I believe strongly that uh, Queen Naomi's mission in that palace is not fulfilled yet and that is why God is sending her back to that palace to go and complete what god sent her there to do because they they sent her out when she have not finished her mission and that is how that is why no matter how hard they try to stop her they are not going to succeed because they are not the ones that sent her to that place it is god who sent her inside that palace to go and uh, do certain work for him because we do know that the people of Philippi they believe so much in their deities because from what we heard from the information we heard they said that palace is contains about 404 deities 401 yes 401 deities you know and if you have been following this uh their videos you find out that almost every time they are celebrating one deity or the other so i believe quinomi's mission quinomi is on a mission in that palace and let me tell you, do you know why Penomi is passing through what she is passing through? Or what she passed through, what she passed through? And I don't think it's, it has ended. All those missionaries that win souls for Christ, many of them, they paid with their life. But my prayer is that it is not going to be Penomi's portion. Many of them passed through one hell or the other. Many of them passed through a whole lot, but they did not give up. You know? So I believe that she is there for a mission and until her mission is fulfilled, she's not leaving that palace. That is why God will all make a way where there is no way for her in that palace. So right now, she is seriously preparing for her return. And what she's doing right now, if this information is true, is the right thing to do. Preparing her ground, you know, watering her ground with the Spirit of God. With the holy spirit covering everywhere with the blood of jesus and one good thing about prayer is that no matter what is buried on the ground no matter what is hanged anywhere once the holy spirit comes down all of them will be neutralized even if it is water that she call, she called the power of god upon and pour that water on one portion of that palace it is going to go around the whole land in that palace and neutralize everything that is not planted by God in that palace. You know? So, right now they said she and her prayer team, 
they are in the palace going around the palace kabashing destroying things praying hey <laughs> see the thing is that the more they are praying the more these people are bringing in their own uh, jazz and jujus because only yesterday i be before yesterday we heard that uh, auntie blow blow brought in a, a a a bag that contains seven tortoise and when she brought it in and left the palace because she cannot stay in the palace and feel comfortable when she brought it in and left they said iyaba started crying iyaba started making noise calling on the attention of kbc that these people have brought in something that is very bad and so detrimental to the palace inside the palace and kbc should not keep quiet had it been that iyaba did not raise alarm she might end up succeeding in whatever be her plan but because God uses a lot of people to work or to fight for her for his children, that is why God decided to uh, open the eye of that blind woman. Because the woman in question, they said she is very old and blind, but she is not blind spiritually, you know. So why when Naomi and her prayer teams are going to the palace every now and then? Because this prayer is, is not stopped today. They said they have been going there. Now, every now and then, to pray. Whenever there is any revelation, they will go there and pray. And while they are praying, these people are bringing in their own every now and then to see if they are going to win. I know it's a battle. It's a spiritual battle. It's a territorial battle. But as long as God is the one that sent Queen Naomi there, she will not be disappointed. God is going to see her through. God is going to give her all the wisdom and power to fight and win in this battle. So they are busy bringing in while she is busy destroying them. And I believe that the ghost, their own ghost, there is not happy with what these people are bringing into the palace right now. And that is why their ghost is exposing them. Mm -hmm. Because if not that the ghosts are exposing them, the palace would have been conducive for them. They would have been in the palace and relaxed. But because the, the, the ghosts of the land are also fighting them, due to the fact that nothing good comes from them, it is... One from one just to the other, one uh, evil plan to the other, you know. So even uh, Antigua, we heard that uh, she have gone to bring her own again to come, but she was disappointed that her babalawo threatened her never to come uh, to his shrine again. That the gods have warned him, and they have told him that if he try, if he tries to do anything against Gwenomi and the only of Ife again, that they are going to end his life. Imagine that. So for that reason, they said the Babala will have told her she, she should take her problem elsewhere, not in, in, in his shrine again. You know? So that is why I told you that while when Naomi was praying and doing all of this, these people are still working hard to bring in more. But God is going to expose all of them. So the information is that they are right now in the palace, praying and cleansing the whole land with her prayer warrior teams. And anyway, thanks for watching. Like I told you, these are all alleged information. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to bring you more juice. Okay, bye for now. Love you guys.